Application control is probably one of the most used security profiles out there. Now, each application in the application database has its own unique ID. It can be TeamViewer, Netflix, Amazon Apps, or any other application. Now, your application sensor actually uses the IPS engine that looks at the different protocols, looks at the different traffic, decodes the protocol, looks for patterns, and then when it knows that uh, a specific application flows through the different interfaces, it tells so in the session list. So let's take a look at how the application unique ID shows up in the session table. All right, so the very first thing that we need to do is to head over to Fortigard Labs, Threat Lookups, Application Control. Now, here we can look at the different unique IDs that each application has. Let's look at Team Viewer. All right, we have different vulnerabilities, but we will look at the application category. And here we have Team Viewer and Let's just press it, and there it is. That's the unique ID of Team Viewer. The second app that we will look is Netflix. There we have Netflix, and Netflix has the unique ID of 18155. All right, so let's move to our Ubuntu device. Let's just enable Team Viewer. Oh, there it is. All right, and it is working. So let's move back to our 48. Let's just use the Diagsys session list. And we see that we have dozens of sessions. We cannot actually look at the different sessions, so we will use the grep command. And the very first app that we will look is the Netflix app, 18155. 18155. And there we have it. We have a session, that's the session ID. The serial is actually the session ID. And we have a session that actually the Netflix app actually uses. So that's the app ID. So let's get back to our Ubuntu. And let's look at the team viewer it is working. And there we have it. That's the session ID, and that's the app, the Team Viewer app that actually uh, initiated that session.